first thing that we want to discuss about conditional expectations is how we can actually compute them. We can see here that in order to compute the MMSC estimator, which is the conditional expectation of the unknown variable given the data, we need this conditional PDF here, this posterior PDF. This is the posterior PDF of theta given the data. We can use Bayes' rule, Bayes' theorem, to actually compute this posterior PDF as the division between the joint PDF of theta and x divided by p of x. Now, if we don't know what the prior distribution of x is, we can obtain this also from the joint uh, PDF of the unknown variable and the data by marginalizing it with respect to the variable. If we integrate the joint PDF uh, of theta and x with respect to theta, what we will get will be the marginal PDF p of x. So we can see that in order to compute the MMSC estimator, which is a conditional expectation, we need the posterior probability density function of the unknown variable given the data. And in order to obtain this posterior PDF, we need a full description, statistical description of our estimation problem. This is the joint PDF of our unknown variable and the data. As we have commented before, this may not be so easy to obtain for every estimation problem. A second interesting result on conditional expectations is the fact that if we have a function of two random variables, x and theta, in this case h, we can compute the expectation with respect to both variables by first computing the conditional expectation given one of the variables and then taking the expectation with respect to the other or the other way around. In this case, here we would take the expectation of h conditioned on a values of x and then we would take the expectation over x. In the second case, we would take the expectation of h with respect to x for fixed theta and then take the expectation over theta. To see that this is true, we can write the expectation of the function in its integral form. In this case, it will be double integral because we have two random variables. Double integral of the function multiplied by the joint probability density function of both variables. Now we know from uh, conditional probability that this joint probability density function can be written in terms of the posterior probability density functions. So in one case we can write it as the posterior PDF of theta given x times p of x, or on the other hand we could also write it as the posterior PDF of x given theta times the PDF of theta. Let's use the first uh, result here to show that the expectation can be written as this conditional expectation here. To do so, I will rewrite the joint PDF as the posterior PDF of theta given x times p of x. And now I will group the terms in this integral. I will open brackets here and I will keep a first integral that will be with respect to the conditional PDF of theta given x. And we will integrate over theta. And the result of this first integral will later be multiplied by 
the PDF of X and integrate it over X. Now, if we look at this inner integral, this is precisely the definition of the conditional expectation of the function given X. As we discussed earlier, the result of this conditional expectation will be a function of x, we will integrate theta out, and we will still have x. The outer integral is precisely computing another expectation, in this case the expectation with respect to x. So we can see that in this shape what we are doing in operations is actually first computing the conditional expectation given x and then computing in the outer integral the expectation of the result in terms of x. If we repeat this procedure but substituting with p of x given theta and p of theta in place of p of theta given x and p of x, we would prove the result for the second equality.